the biggest thing that we notice with our children and music is their confidence, their ability to perform on stage and speak out loud in front of others. We believe that it develops oracy, it develops listening skills. The boys sing, the girls sing, it doesn't matter how old the children are, everybody joins in. It's cool to sing here and the children really, really enjoy it. Quite a lot of the schools in Bradford are monoethnic and Dixon's really works hard to make sure that there's a real mix of children. We've got children from across the city, from a range of different backgrounds and religions. It's really good to see the children getting on and mixing with one another. One of the best things about setting up a free school with just reception children is that you can develop the ethos and the culture and your expectations right from the start. So our oldest children are now in year four and they're so well behaved, they're so respectful and you don't get the behaviours that you might find in a typical inner city primary school because they never see it. Everything we do here at DMP is based around the most vulnerable child, so family dining is a huge part of that. Children sit in groups of ten with a familiar adult, the same adult every day. Everybody has a role, so somebody might be putting out the knives or the forks, the cups, someone else will be serving, someone else will clear their table away. The most rewarding part about being the principal of Dixon's Music Primary is seeing how much progress the children make. Quite often they'll be shy, they won't be able to read or write, um, and seeing them develop into fantastic learners, being able to write stories, being able to play musical instruments, perform on a stage, that's really the most rewarding part of my job. We have got our outstanding judgement from Ofsted, which is a fantastic recognition of the hard work of the teachers, the children and their families. The next step for us is getting the best results we can in year six. So we want all of our children to achieve the highest levels so that they're prepared to go to secondary school, which will ultimately prepare them for university. We have teachers, principals, CEOs from across the country that come to visit the school. So it's putting Bradford back on the map for the right reasons.